What's up people? Welcome back to the old YouTube channel. I thought I'd do something a bit different. I'm sure you're all bored of me sitting and talking to the camera for uh, you know, five minutes straight. And I thought I'd mix it up as well because you know, I want to keep it interesting for myself as well. So I thought I'd do a day in the life of a personal trainer and online coach in London. So today I've had some easy sessions this morning. Uh, with clients based in the gym. Then I trained myself, so I had the uh, upper body this morning, did a bit of uh, cardio as well on the bike. So I like to stretch my days, uh, mainly early starts, PT sessions in the morning, uh, then work out when the gym's a bit quiet, so like 10 to 11, something like that. Uh, clients lunchtime, maybe back in in the evening, but yeah, typically I'm more morning focused, that's where I get the most energy, so um, when I'm at my best, so I try and give my clients my energy first thing. Afternoon's more online focused with like Instagram, YouTube, as you can see, and uh, you know, maybe small steps or content, dealing with client queries and support on what's happened and whatnot. So that's the general structure to my days and how I like to do it. Um, today is a Friday afternoon and I am currently on the way into central London for uh, physio, so getting some rehab done on my knee at the moment. Um, had a steroid injection a couple of weeks ago. It's improved a bit and I'm hoping to get back to full leg days in the, you know, in the next couple of months, three months maybe, something like that. So this is week seven of the cuts, going really well. Down seven kilos so far, weighed in just sub 74 kilos this morning. Really, really excited to see how lean I can get. This is definitely my best shape in quite a while. Definitely feeling a lot leaner than this time last year with a bit more muscle mass as well. So the cut's going really well so far. Got a little bit more to come off on the lower abs, I'd say. Look at these beautiful views. Look at this. Sometimes when you live in London, you don't ever fully appreciate it. The views are just insane. So, travelled halfway into physio, walking the rest of the journey, and that's a quick tip for you in terms of hitting your step count. People travelling by public transport to work, um, you know, you're missing an opportunity to go halfway and then hit your step count. So. If it's a nice day, try and walk to meet up with friends at the weekend if you can. Uh, travel halfway to work, get some steps in on the way to work, on the way back from work. Take a regular break from your desk as well. 20 minutes at lunch, 30 minutes at lunch. I promise that you'll get that back in terms of productivity levels in the afternoon anyway. And that's an easy way to get your 10K steps in. This is a game changer for fat loss because um, the more active you are through a step count outside of the gym, then the easier it is to cut on slightly highly higher calories. So for example, a lot of people will turn up at the gym, do one weight session three times a week, four times a week, think they're burning 500 calories, when in actual fact they're not. And they're probably burning about 150, let's say in a weights workout. But instead, if you focus on upping your step count towards eight to 10K per day, then you're gonna be burning more like three, 400 calories depending on how much you weigh, obviously. Yes, yes team, right, we're back. Physio done. A bit frustrating not being able to train legs for like four months, five months, however, we're flipping that on a positive because it means I can focus on bringing up my upper body. And I think I've made decent progress in the last like four or five months on the upper body, so I'm excited to see what my 12 feet transformation looks like. Um, but yeah, when you when you get like a minor setback to the gym, and it's inevitable to get the odd injury here and there. So uh, you just got to flip up the positive and focus on what you can do. So for me, I've just been able to train loads of upper body like four times a week for the last few months, which has been fun. Um, and yeah, just tweaked my training, mixed it up a little bit. So yeah, positive news. Got a plan in place. Uh, gonna folk, got a few more physio exercises to focus on. Um, for me, it's about stabilisation at the moment, so rather than going big on my leg presses um, as I'd like, it's more about focusing on stabilisation muscles such as the glute medius on the sides of my glutes and just bringing up that balance using uh, unilateral exercises, so single leg work basically is the priority at the moment, so 
a bit of a different style of training for me at the moment than I'm used to, but you know, I can learn from that and move forward. So yeah, so yeah, positive. Just gonna head back now, get some more steps in, hitting silly steps at the moment, and then and then yeah, gonna crack on. Saturday in London, rest day, active rest day, get my steps in, good start to my morning. So this is sort of a typical day for me on a Saturday, day off the gym, day off coaching clients. Um, I try and take Saturdays off just because I, I teach spin on Sunday evenings at the moment. So uh, yeah, Saturdays for me is like spending time with friends, family, my girlfriend. Um, and yeah, this is sort of a typical start to my to my Saturdays really. Um, just go get ahead of my steps, enjoying the weather at the moment. And nothing really massively exciting. Um, on my days off, just taking it easy really. Uh, later on this evening, meeting up with my parents, which would be lovely. So my parents are based in Milton Keynes, um, which is a town, city now actually, a uh, city between Birmingham and London, famous for rap in the UK, famous for roundabouts and not much else, uh, built on like the US grid system. So uh, it's not a very sort of historical town or anything. Looks, we get a bit of grief from the rest of the UK on like lacking culture. So um, yeah, so MK gets a, MK Milton Keynes gets a bit of a, a bad rap, but I thought it was a right place to go up to. But about managing social occasions, I, this is a t tips that I use with a lot of clients at the moment. So you know, if you are someone that wants to go out for dinner at the, the weekend or socialise, going for your drink or two on a Friday or Saturday, then it's key to plan ahead for these sort of events. If you want to, if you want to lose weight or you want to, you want to get in shape, lose a bit of fat, you have to plan ahead for social occasions. Otherwise, what happens is you go over on your calories at the weekend and then you're back to square one on a Monday. So the way that I always recommend doing this is dropping your calories by say 200 to 300 Monday to Thursday or Monday to Friday. And that way you've just created a 1500 calorie buffer or 1000 calorie buffer, something like that for you know a meal out on a Saturday, a couple of drinks here and there, and then other things you can think about would be like a you know uh, smarter drinks choices. So for example, going for like a gin, sim, line tonic, or I don't know, vodka and diet mixer, it's like diet soda, which you're gonna save about 100 calories versus getting pints or sugary cocktails uh, where you don't really know the calories in them. So smarter drinks, choices, drinking in moderation and planning ahead for these events. That means that you can go, you know, slightly lower midweek and then slightly higher on the calories at the weekend and you'll still hit your goal as a week as a whole. So this is known as sort of calorie banking or calorie budgeting. And you know as soon as you start planning ahead for social occasions and things like that, it just it makes it so much easier to hit your goals without restricting your social life. People just go too restrictive on this. So Sunday with the lovely G. Hi. Say hi to everyone. How are you? Hi everyone. Great. <laughs> Hello the world of YouTube. How are you guys? This is part of my weekend, typical weekend in the life. We usually go out on a Sunday morning, get a coffee or two, go for some steps, hit our 10k early doors, don't we G? Yeah, we do. Uh, it's a good way to start the day. And there's some bikes coming past us now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we are we are out in the park, get some steps in, and then usually go on and crack on with the rest of our days. Usually Sunday night for me is spin. So teach spin back in the gym on Sunday evening. So we spend most of Saturday together, um, seeing friends or just chilling. And then Sunday mornings, get our steps in, get a, get a coffee. And uh, crack, and then go our separate ways, don't we, G? Yeah, we do. And then we've got a nice dinner on Friday coming up, so we make the most of our, our weekends and time time off together. So, yeah, that's just a sort of typical weekend for us at the moment. And we're just gonna carry on with our steps, go hit our 10k, and we'll, we'll catch you on the next video. But we'll we'll maybe get G involved with some more videos going forward, won't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if she if she wants to anyway, yeah, we'll do should we do a little Q and A maybe? Yeah. A little couple of Q and A or something yeah, would be nice. That'd be cute. See yeah. if if anyone actually replies on Instagram. Uh, if any of you actually want to ask a question, yeah. Uh, so we'll do a little Q and A. Uh, we'll do we'll get to do a vlog of our holiday as well. I think won't we? Like yeah, a little Portugal vlog, which would be nice. 
but yeah, that's the end of the, that's the end of this sort of typical weekend of day in the life. Hope you've enjoyed it, and yeah, have a great day whenever you're watching this. Reminder to you, drop the video a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel because there's literally no one watching really at the moment, so we can do with all the support that we that we need. So yeah, thank you very much if you made it this far, and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.